Lina Bobardi was uh, what we can call a kind of socialist uh, architect and intellectual also. Uh, at first she was born in Italia and then she moved with her husband in Brazil. And uh, the first project she built there was La Casa de Vidro. Uh, a home house and it was a huge success because uh, it was really modern it was really beautiful a kind of villa savoir in a tropical forest in fact and thanks to this project mm, many people noticed her and uh, she succeeded in um, getting other clients as i told you uh, lina bobardi was an intellectual and when she was asked to uh, de to design the masp the sao paulo museum of art she rethought the concept of a museum. Uh, in the so the project of, was finished in the 60s, and at the time she imagined uh, two floors, open galleries, with masterpiece, uh, with no orders, with no chro chronology. And at the time, it was a kind of revolution for a museum. Also, the building in itself is impressive. It features a suspended volume which permits to liberate the ground to create a big plaza and to unit people around the museum. The Sesc Pompeia she designed in Sao Paulo was a community center. And again, it was really innovative architecture at the time. She thought about using unconventional concrete towers with, uh, with some impressive aerial walkways. The building currently houses many activities such as theatres, gymnasium, swimming pool, snack bars, leisure areas, etc. And in fact, Lina Bovardi um, honestly believed that culture can unite people, no matter their origins. Uh, at the time, Oscar Niemeyer, another Brazilian architect, was more famous than, the, than her, but in fact, People remembered her because she was a really altruist person who wanted to put people first in her architecture. 